a very good morning guys from St Paul's we're just going to explore St Paul's and round St Paul's as you can see I'm alone no Lucy today with uh, my daughter who oh, is her dogs <laughs> it's a break for me today right this is old St Paul's I think it was uh, they started building it um, 1675 and finished it 1710 35 years this is where Lady Diana uh, got married this is the front of the St Paul's here guys and we got here we got the main road running past St Paul's which that way it leads towards Fleet Street which is just literally down the hill down there straight into Fleet Street and then uh, if you follow this road along this way this goes towards Cannon Street and towards Tower Hill that direction yeah we got we got a uh, lot of uh, places around interesting places around here guys so um, we can go and visit the meat market very interesting there's quite a lot of history around there we can go and look at St Bart's Hospital I spent a lot of time at St Bart's with my wife very interesting bits of history all around there you've got the courts law, law courts all literally around the corner the bailey is literally uh, not this turning I think the second turning on the right from here so uh, we're at Lud Ludgate Hill at the moment so um, I can't remember if it's this one I'm not a uh, historian or anything here guys so all I'm doing is exploring so uh, if you'd like to leave a comment amongst yourselves to know about the history please leave so be free to leave so I think it's the next one there's the law courts the old bailey let's go and have a look anyway hey guys we're here to explore busy busy day Thursday today guys I fancy going on to one of those open top buses as well really we've got all these little unique places oh, so you don't see I mean I've been around here so many times but by a vehicle going past so you don't really see all these uh, back streets all these uh, elaborate buildings they all, all all mean something I wish I'd known so uh, you can google all these up guys their names are all on the billboards on the names of the side of the buildings stationary hill it's all different courts and alleyways they all mean something there is this looks a really important building here guys so I don't know what that is so if you know anything like that guys I'm only exploring there you go guys it's interesting really because you drive by and you don't really see these places you just drive by all these brickwork and stuff like that these are I don't know if this is old or it's just been done or has it been cleaned I'm not sure really very interesting you've got the modern you've got the old I know St, St. Paul's was uh, bombed in the Second World War quite badly actually and uh, they've repaired her over the years that is the cathedral I'm talking about Pilgrim Street so you've got these little alleyways Let's have a little dive around there. That's the thing you don't see with other YouTubers. Make manoeuvres like this. That looks spectacular there in the backdrop, doesn't it, guys? Would that be a thumbnail? Yes. There you go, guys. Pilgrim Street. I don't know what it's called, that, but you could Google it and find out. These two. Nothing. Martins within Ludgate. That used to be something pretty old, really. People right up there. That looks quite old, very old. And he's attention. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we walk. We walk down here. See the old bay. This Fleet Street's just down here. Just crossing uh, Farringdon Road. The lights at the bottom there. That's Farringdon Road goes right across. Blackfriars Bridge is on the left. That's it, the old bailey. Here we are, guys. The infant. Old bailey. You're a bad, bad criminal going here and you've got the law, law courts down there so bring it from there let's have a little walk here guys it was a lovely day out yesterday uh, oh no the day before yesterday south end with Lucy 
I forgot to bring my metal detector. I've got a lovely metal detector. I like to do a bit of metal detecting. Just get that feeling you're going to find something. It does this. It goes on the beach. It goes in the parks. It goes in farmland. It's really powerful. I'll do a video and I'll show you guys. An old Bailey. Wow. Yeah, I think they, they sling you in those gates just before you come out. Before you go in there, those gates open. They radio radio through. Oh, there's a passage. Can we, can we go through that passage? Let's try it. Where does that passage go? Well, let's, let's do it. I like to go places like this. Explore. This is what it's all about. It's a shame I don't know a lot of it. No camera, public gallery. The public gallery's down there. I think this is where you're going to the law courts. So we're not going there, we're going straight ahead. It looks very creepy. Through the law courts and the old Bailey. No doggies allowed in there. I can see a sign. Yeah, Lucy stayed with my daughter, really. Just uh, give her a little break. It's, just, it's her dog. <laughs> no doggies allowed in here. Only me. Somewhere you could just chill out. Every place has got a meaning around these places. Right, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we're just exploring. So I don't know where this comes out. I'm sure it comes out to the next road we went past. Private road. Private road, it says. Oh yeah, it just comes out by, I forget what it's called. Towards the Barbican that way. We've got Leo's old building. Beautiful. Building everywhere. Where's all this money coming from, eh? This must be the back of the old Bailey or something. The Royal. Anyway, probably we can uh, sit down and have a cup of tea. Places we went when I'm with Lucy, I can't go. Now I can just chill out, go and get a cup of tea somewhere. And not worry about other dogs, but I do miss her. Yeah, I do. Oh, I know where this is. You've got Snow Hill on the right, which goes towards the meat market, really. Or you've got uh, you're going towards uh, yeah, Snow Hill. Turn right where those cars are going. Snow Hill. This be a police station down there, but I think they've knocked it down. Yeah, we, we're going towards the American Bank. I think there's a bank here. Yeah. Bank of America. Greyfriars Passage. You can see old uh, St Paul's through here, through that gap over there. Just get you, so you can get your bearings round. Yeah, you've got Allgate Bank, the bank, bank straight ahead. That way you go towards the Barbican and the roundabout. Anybody rem remember that? The right, Barbican roundabout. Turn left here and just follow it down. Some Bart's hospitals on the left. Church, Greyf. Welcome to Chris. Church Greyfriars Garden, guys. This is the garden covered with. This used to be an old church. Has been knocked down or bombed, maybe in the Second World War, or and they've decided to do it like this. Got St Bart's Hospital there, straight ahead of you. That big glass building, fantastic hospital that is. Amazing. I think this is the Bank of America on the left. Bank of America. I don't know if we're allowed to go through there or not. Doesn't say no entry private, does it? Yeah, but I don't know where it ends up. Got old St Paul's up there. Big dome. I think it's about 365 feet high. I think St Paul's. There's a nice cafe in the, by the meat market. I think we'll have a cup of tea there, guys. I used to stop there when I used to be a lorry driver. I used to cut through the meat market. I think they are turned into a Chinese cafeteria now. I think it used to be Italian. I think the Chinese took over. Yeah, yeah. The meat market's just literally down there on the right hand side. Yes, we can. We can go. This is uh, the Bartholomew's Hospital, guys. I've been bless my my wife's soul. Hope she rests in peace. Oh, it brings memories. Right, amazing hospital. Makes me a bit weary. This <laughs> is. I think it's all glass. I'm not sure. It looks like glass to me. When I walk over it, it makes me ooh. <laughs> no, I'm going to go through. Can that support my weight? Yeah. Ooh. Certainly, look. See right through down there, guys. Yeah. Now, looking forward for that cup of tea. I realise the camera's on me. Gosh. Yeah. See? If you drive around, you only experience this. You're better off on foot, really. It's amazing, look. And plus, if there's wind, you won't get a lot of wind because the buildings here, they stop the wind going through. So it's good for the camera for me. Wow. Yeah, I've got two. Uh, I know we're going up 
off the top of your quite excited really to go a bit of uh, metal detecting on the beach because that's the only place I know you can legally do it unless you get permission from a farmer who lets you go on their land I think some parks you can I've had this metal detector for ages I've never used it really I've used it a few times but two three times took the kids to the beach and that was it so we're gonna see and then uh, we actually literally found five five pound on the beach all in coins one pound coins two pound coins 20 pences 50 pences loads of <laughs> this place here he's got a lot of history around here just before the meat market here guys there used to be a lot of executions here all around here people used to get executed here around a bit horrifying really something to do is it mary queen mary and that's why they call her bloody mary she used to watch it wow oh you've got a nice little cafe there i don't mind trying out really sitting there at the back outside beautiful yeah just imagine you used to get all burnt at the stakes here used to get hung, strung, quartered, everything here. Wow, got the ambulance station here guys, they park up the ambulances here. Yeah, all around here, that's where the... Yeah, Queen Mary used to watch it somewhere here. And uh, we've got, what's that, King Henry VIII up there. Yeah, yeah it's, good, it's very spooky around here. There's a plaque here or something. Something to do with, I think this is where they chopped up maybe I'm wrong I don't know guys so let me know if you know there was a lot of executions around here this place here and Queen Mary used to stand here or, or sit here and just watch it that's where the Queen Mary and uh, Bloody Mary used to come from <laughs> Bloody Mary but well, that's with um, that well, tomato tomato drink alcohol tomato I'm not a drinker, so I don't really know that much about alcohol. Oh, look at all these bullet holes. Guys, this, these are all bullet holes. Look at that. Musket bullets, because they were large, weren't they? Oh yeah, so William Wallace, this is it. Here we go, guys. Poor guy. They chopped him up. Oh, disgraceful. And you know uh, William Wallace, do you remember Braveheart? I think, I'm not sure if they chopped him up around here or Bridge or London Bridge or something like that. To London and put to death, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see that, guys? Somebody's still paying their respects. Mm -hmm. Trying to get a thumbnail on here, guys. I wonder if that is where she used to hang around. That Queen Mary. Looks very old. Maybe those windows. This is where she used to hang around. Oh, did you see all those um, bullet holes? Can't believe it. Wow, look at that. Anybody know how old these bullet holes are? I mean, we had a lot of bombs in London. It could be, f I don't know. These are, these are look like bullet holes, don't they? There's one chipped here. These are destruction. Wow, these are big, big guns here. I'm going to be interested in this area, really. See what happened here. If there is a uh, documentary about this area here, and this is the old meat market there, guys, right in front of you. Let's go and see this place. I think she used to be up there, that Queen Mary. Bartholomew's. Oh, Maisie.
It looks old, so old. We will go through this soon, guys. I need to have a cup of tea. And uh, I need to do a little bit of work here with short videos, guys. So don't forget, I do a lot of short videos as well. So please uh, have a look at my short videos. Right, be back in a minute.